Hey, what's up with all these guys uh, killing their wives now? <laughs> oh, like every couple of weeks in the news, you see that shit. Today in medical news. Dudes killing their wives. I don't understand it. First of all, why would you kill another person? And second of all, don't they think the whole thing through? Like how the whole thing's going to play out? Like I'm going to kill my wife, then I'm going to get caught, then I'm going to go to jail, then I'm going to get in the ass. I like the beginning, because she's kind of been a pain in the ass lately. Do they think they're going to get away with it? It's like, dude, you're not going to get away with it. You know why? You're not a criminal. You're just a fucking guy. You work at a Staples. It's just like one day, you just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill my wife. No, it's almost like they wing it. Because they always fuck it up. They get blood all over the place. When they hack up the body, they throw it out, and it always comes back, because they never do it right. No, you gotta f up the torso. I don't know if anybody's... What, nobody wa Dude, if you watch any of that A&E How many times in the news do you gotta see a headless torso was found floating in the bay? That's a guy, that's just a guy. We're just gonna show up to the picnic people, hey, where's your wife? Oh, I thought she was with you. <laughs> Hey, is this potato salad? <laughs> As a man, the number one thing you're supposed to avoid in life is getting f***ed in the ass, and this guy has just laid the groundwork for this to happen night after night after night. Until one day, by the grace of God, somebody sticks you. It's actually a great moment in your life when you get that ice pick made out of a toothbrush jabbed into you. That's actually a good day at that point. You know, why don't you just divorce her. Just give her half your CDs, pack up your clothes. I mean, is that so difficult?